Okay, so as a conservationist, I've been having a crash out ever since I was on the front lines of the palm oil issue in Borneo last month, and I'm ready to finally talk about it. I'm going to spend this video introducing you to the issue and introducing you to the solutions that are at play. The first thing you need to know is that palm oil is probably one of the most widely used crops in our cosmetics and food, and it has been, and it's not going away anytime soon. 70% of palm oil comes out of Indonesia and Malaysia, and this has been linked to severe deforestation that has impacted biodiversity and wildlife like orangutan and pygmy elephants and all the other species that live there. The thing is, is the oil palm produces more product per hectare than any other vegetable oil. So if we ban or boycott palm oil and switch to another vegetable oil, we'll just be facilitating more deforestation. It's also so difficult because the local livelihoods are deeply intertwined with this industry. The palm oil industry employs 5 million people, and about 65% of those are small growers. This is the level of deforestation we've seen in this area over the past decades as this industry has scaled. And here is me sobbing on a canoe, watching it firsthand. What are the solutions we have at play? It's a combination of a lot of different things, and we have a role in that as consumers. Large NGOs are creating wildlife corridors so that endangered species can traverse through their home without being threatened by the loss of habitat around them. Large NGOs are working with small growers to create cooperatives so that they can get one step closer to sustainable palm oil certifications. Because palm oil is such an efficient crop, what we need to do is support responsibly, sustainably certified palm oil. And we need to be doing it now. It really addresses a lot of the human and labor rights issues that are associated with workers working on palm plantations. It also helps plantations be more efficient and extend the longevity of their lifespan so that deforestation isn't so much of an issue. But at the end of the day, us as consumers who have this product and everything have to be looking for that certification. And the more we demand it, the less deforestation there is while still protecting the local livelihoods that are at stake with this industry. And one of the coolest tools that I saw is that World Wildlife Fund actually has this palm oil scorecard that you can look up and you can see what level of certification and what requirements are being met by the product. I'm an ocean conservationist, so I'm never going to be working on the intricacies of this issue. But as a consumer, I can demand the right thing so that the conservationists working on this issue can be in a better position to make change. We have really complex issues in the conservation world, so I hope that this information allows you to take one step closer to being part of solutions.